Okay guys, so today we're going to be talking about this pistol right here. This is an H&R model 929 and they also call it the Sidekick. This is actually a 9 shot 22 revolver. It's both single action and double act. Now I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, but the barrel and the frame is actually two different colors. That's because the frame is actually a different type of metal. It's actually, I believe it's copper. But one thing I do know for sure is it's a softer metal because the markings right here, they've already wore off pretty bad. When the markings up here on the barrel, they're still good as new. But anyways, guys, since revolvers don't have adjustable sights, we're going to set this box out there and see where it hits. And even though it holds nine, I'm just going to go ahead and load it up with six. Just enough so we'll figure out where it's hitting on the box. Here we go. Like I said, it shoots either double or single action. I'm going to shoot it in single action just to get as much as as good as as much accuracy as I can for this one. Here we go. All right. That was six. Just gonna let the shells out. Just like that. Now we're gonna go, I'm gonna go get the box and bring it back to you. Well guys, here's the box. We got one bullet here, here, and here. And I was aiming right there. The other three bullets, I don't have a clue where they went. So I'm gonna set this about five feet in front of me and then see where it hits. Cause this gun is not very accurate right now. Now it's really close to me. Now it's really close to me. If I can't get a pretty consistent grouper here, maybe I just need to go back in the house and sit down for a minute. Here we go. All right. All right, so now I'm gonna go and get that box and show y'all where it hit. Now on this one, I still hit right there, there, and there. Still really not consistent groupings, especially since it's only about six or seven feet. I don't know about this pistol, guys. It ain't me, I promise. Maybe I was pulling it. I really don't think I was, but... Guys, now there is a Gatorade bottle about right out there somewhere. It's really far. It's very long shot for this pistol, considering that I can't even hit a box five feet from me. But still, I'm going to try to hit it. Maybe I'll get lucky and tip it or something. Now guys, just so you know, it's a clear bottle, but it's still there, so I'm going to be shooting at that right there. Now guys, we're right here, we have all nine shells loaded. I'm going to shoot the first four double action, just so y'all can see how smooth it is. Alright. Alright. I hit it the second time. I don't know if I actually hit the bricks under it or if I just, you know, maybe hit it. I'll go get the bottle, reset it up if I didn't hit it. Okay, guys, well, I actually hit it, and I actually hit it twice out of those four shots. So there goes that bottle. Now, I've also got some clay pigeons out there. I'm going to shoot them too. Now, guys, there, there's the four. I'm going to shoot them right off as soon as fast as I can. Missed that first one. Miss it again. I was aiming at the one all the way on the right, but I hit the one right in the middle, so cool. Whatever. Well, guys, I believe we can all figure out that this gun with a four inch barrel is not very accurate, which I mean, it is a 22 pistol. It's not supposed to be super accurate, but on the one that I hit, I was not even aiming at that one, so... Well, we're gonna move a little bit closer, and I mean a whole lot closer. So, here we go. I'm gonna back up a little bit more. That ain't even safe. As you can see them, they should be right through here. Here we go, I'm gonna pop them. Here we go. Miss it again. I still missed them. There's one, barely chipped the edge. Here's another one, barely chipped its edge too. And all you people who sent in money for mail time and told me to use it on bullets, this is exactly what it's going into. So without you guys, I really wouldn't be making this video. So here we go. That 
There we go, guys. Hit the like button if you want to see a lot more of these videos. I done one about a Remington 870. It should be about right here. And, uh, you know, watch it. A lot of y'all hit the like button on that one. And that's why I made this one. So if you like this one, go ahead. Tell me in the comments. And I'll see y'all later.